Hey guys. Uh, I feel like every time I do a video, don't mind her. Every time I do a video, I get um, invaded by cats. This is our new kind of derpy cat, Darcy. Um, she has issues, but she's super sweet. No, she's never been done video. Yeah. Every time I'm on the floor filming, they get these guys. Anyway, let's let Darcy do her thing. So today I'm going to show you how to take a rather deflated but um, well loved by cats uh, bead bag, and you can see it's really saggy, and turn it into something a little bit more fabulous. I've been working on painting this one. I'm going to back up so you can see it. Uh, just little designs. You could pick whatever you wanted. Um, it could be, you know, floral or more abstract or whatever. You could even dye it with like a heated dye if it was super grungy looking. This isn't too bad. I thought maybe the paint would disguise any staining. As you can see, it's well loved and very flat. Uh, these are the paints that I've been using. It's just tulip soft and matte for the black and the white and a metallic for the gold and the silver. So what we're using today is polyfill. Uh, it says polyfill classic bean bag filler. Uh, it's a little bit nicer or a lot nicer than the regular stuff that comes in these bags that gets really squished down. It's supposed to hold its shape a lot better. I'm going to be using it for this project and then a future project, which will either be a video or just on my website, which is craftyladyabby.com. So for the Fairfield World today, we're going to refill this at least partially. We're going to see how much it takes. This is one bag and this is, this is two fills. I guess it depends on what you're doing, but 2.5 uh, pounds. It's actually pretty light because it's not that way much. So I'm going to take my pliers actually. This bean bag is so old that the zipper here has lost its little zippy bit. But I opened it up yesterday. So I'm going to pull it along here. This is a really old bean bag from Target, but you can use any kind. Um, this one has a double zip. So the other zip was all protected and nice. So you can see inside we have bean bag filler that has seen better days. Uh, it is all flat. You know, you get these little flat circles. So we're gonna make it nice. Usually you would do this with a partner uh, to help hold the bag up. But my partner is in school still. <laughs> so Kind of dust that off a little. It might make a little bit of mess. I really hope the cats don't get involved. I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to start shifting it as we go so it um, fills in. All right. So I might speed this part up a little bit. What you can do is pick one corner. I'm actually going to pick a top corner only because. Once I start cutting it, it's going to start pouring, and I like to uh, limit the pour as much as possible. So you see, top corner. Take scissors. I'm really not going to cut much to start with. You can cut more. Woo! As you see, it's already coming out. Uh, cut more as you go. It's kind of a pain to clean up, so I'm cutting that. Close, and then just going. And the idea is that gravity helps. So if you feel like it's not flowing very much, you can open that up more, open the hole up more. Uh, but it helps to keep it small. So I'm gonna do this. It's very much just the same thing over and over. Back up, make sure you can see that. Just watching the hole and open it up. Give it a little squeeze. And once in a while you can reposition your bag. See my, it's real floppy. So it's going to take a little bit to get it into the uh, fold until it's nice and plump around. See, we're making a mess. Alright, I'm going to keep doing this. It's not probably all that exciting. And when I'm done, I will show you what it looks like all plumped.
Alright guys, so I'm back and I have finished stuffing this. Uh, if my daughter and husband, who are probably cuddling it, feel like this isn't enough polyfill, so I'll add another bag. But it's pretty squishy. Um, actually, it's not totally full like it probably would have been at the beginning. But, um, the beginning of its life. I will paint more stuff on it, but for now, it's pretty suitable. Uh, it's a lot squishier, as you can hear. Really filled in. Uh, after I filled it all up, I closed both of the zippers, the regular one with just my hand, and then this broken one with uh, my pliers. Again. And the double zipper apparently just keeps the polyfill uh, beads from coming out. Bead bag beads. So that's it for this project. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, paint is a great way of making your bean bags a little bit more modern or at least personalized. If you're kind of on a budget, it's a great way to take something just kind of plain from a store and make it fit your decor. Uh, I did want to mention this project that's behind me. <laughs> this little, this uh, tree skirt is up on my website right now, which is just craftyladyabby.com. And this is a tree from Treetopia. You can't see that very well, but there'll be a nice big picture of this whole thing up there. And this is Oli Fun, which is also from Fairfield World. But that is all for this project. Hope you guys have a wonderful crafty day. Uh, you can see more of what I'm making over on Instagram um, and Facebook. So just Crafty Lady Abby. That's it, guys. Bye. Kitty, come fluff this. Kitty, kitty, come fluff this. Oh.